came to realize that financial IQ is 90% emotional IQ and only 10% technical information about finance or money. So while I'm not yet rich, I am wealthy. I now have income generated from assets each month that fully cover my monthly expenses. If I want to increase my expenses, I first must increase my cash flow to maintain this level of wealth. Also note that it is at this point that I'm no longer dependent on my wages. I have focused on, and been successful in, building an asset column that has made me financially independent. If I quit my job today, I would be able to cover my monthly expenses with the cash flow from my assets. Rich Dad advised that Mike and I groom ourselves. Many corporations do the same thing. They find a young bright student just out of business school and begin grooming that person to someday take over the company. So these bright young employees do not specialize in one department. They are moved from department to department to learn all the aspects of business systems. The rich often groom their children or the children of others. By doing so, their children gain an overall knowledge of the operations of the business and how the various departments interrelate. I just want you boys to have a chance to avoid the trap caused by those two emotions, fear and desire. Smart investors understand taxes before investing. No, not really, said Rich Dad. If you want to learn to work for money, then stay in school. That is a great place to learn to do that. But if you want to learn how to have money work for you, then I will teach you that. But only if you want to learn. Many people believe it is smart to save money. The problem is that today, money is no longer money. Today, people are saving counterfeit dollars, money that can be created at the speed of light. In 1971 President Nixon took the US dollar off the gold standard, and money became debt. The primary reason why prices have risen since 1971 is simply because the United States now has the power to print money to pay its bills. Today, savers are the biggest losers. Since 1971, the US dollar has lost 95% of its value when compared to gold. It will not take another 40 years to lose its remaining 5%. Remember, in 1971, gold was $35 an ounce. 40 years later, gold was $1,400 an ounce. That is a massive loss of purchasing power for the dollar. The problem grows worse as the U.S. national debt escalates into the trillions of dollars and the U.S. continues to print more counterfeit money. As the Federal Reserve Bank and central banks throughout the world print trillions of dollars at high speed, every printed dollar means higher taxes and more inflation. In spite of this fact, millions of people continue to believe saving money is smart. It used to be smart when money was money. My next goal would be to have the excess cash flow from my assets reinvested into the asset column. The more money that goes into my asset column, the more my asset column grows. The more my assets grow, the more my cash flow grows. And as long as I keep my expenses less than the cash flow from these assets, I grow richer with more and more income from sources other than my physical labor. As this reinvestment process continues, I am well on my way to becoming rich. Change what you can I've learned the truth and wisdom in Rich Dad's words. So much of life is out of our control. I've learned to focus on what I do have control over, myself. And if things must change, 
First I must change.